Hello everyone, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. With this video, I will be showing you my kalimba collection. I hope this can serve as a reference guide on what kind of kalimba you would want to get. Before we get started, let's jump into community shout out. Let's start with my smallest kalimba here. The kalimba here I have is a A key kalimba. It's in the shade of a cat or Totoro. Do you think they look alike? They also have the shade in hard and they also have the acrylic material for this. So this is what it looks like. This is what the back looks like. As you can see here, this kalimba is really small. It's smaller than my hand here. The note on this one range from C5 to C6. At first, I was struggling to tune it to C4 because of the number notation here. Just something to keep in mind if you do get this kalimba. Let's do a sound test on this one. Because the size of this one is really small, so it's hard for me to hold and play it. I think this can be a really great decoration or accessory, but in terms of playing it, I think it's kind of hard. If you do want to get an AK Columba, there are some in bigger size that are a lot easier to play. However, with AK Columba, the song you can play on it definitely is a lot more limited. This Columba is really light here. Let's weigh it and see how heavy it is. This kalimba here is about 52 grams, which is pretty light. Now let's move on to the next one. The next kalimba I have here is a 17 key resonate box kalimba. Some people also call it hollow kalimba. As you can see, it's hollow inside. This kalimba was my first kalimba. The brand was Transin. I don't think they're in production anymore. This kalimba is in C major, so the note range from C4 to E6. Let's do a sound test to it. With hollow kalimba, usually the lower note has louder sound than the higher note. With hollow kalimba, you also have holds to it, which you can play the wah wah effect. With hollow kalimba, the sound is louder and deeper compared to bore kalimba. The weight on this kalimba is about 274 grams. Now let's get to my next kalimba. This kalimba I have here is a boar kalimba. Um, this is the LinkedIn K17P. It made out of rosewood. This is a B major kalimba, so the note range from B3 to D6 sharp. Let's do a sound test to this one. The weight on this kalimba is about 378 grams, which is heavier than my hollow kalimba. Now let's get to my next one. This next one I have here is also another Boar Kalimba. This is the Duo D1 Kalimba from April Young. It made out of walnut wood. They also have one in beech wood. But personally, I like the look of walnut wood. I like how my Kalimba has the wave, which remind me of like the wavy water. You can also see the shade on this one is slimmer. What's special about this kalimba is that it also have an electronic component to it. So you can connect it to a headphone or a speaker. You can turn it on by plugging your headphone cord or speaker cord to it. Let's turn it on with my headphone and see how it looks. 
To turn on this kalamba, you would plug it with the headphone cord or speaker cord and you would push the button to the logo blink three times. So that's how you turn it on. You can also adjust the volume on this and you can change the color of the logo by quickly push on the button. So those are the color you have. To turn it off, you just do the same thing. Pull on the button till it bling three times. What I like about this kalimba is that even though I'm in a loud environment, I'm still able to hear the kalimba through my headphone. This kalimba is also in C major. Let's do a sound test to it. This kalimba I have here is about 374 grams. Now let's move on to the next one. The next kalimba I have here is a 20 key seas kalimba. This kalimba is made of acacia wood. First thing that you might notice is the tie looks different than the typical kalimba. It has two layer to it. The note arrangement on this one is from G3 to E6. What's different about this kalimba is that the note arrangement is actually in order. It's more like a piano arrangement. Whereas the typical kalimba, the note alternate from right to left. With this 20 key kalimba here, you can play melody note on your right hand and harmony note on your left hand. Let's do a sound test of it. I think the sound on this kalimba is more bright and loud. I'm going to play the song with just melody and then with harmony. I think the sound on this one also sustain longer compared to my other kalimba. If you have piano experience, this might be easy for you to pick up. If you are new to learning an instrument, this might be a little bit harder to get used to at first as you have to coordinate with your right hand and left hand with the melody and the harmony note. With this one, because you are playing melody note along with harmony note, I think it adds more depth to the song that you are playing. This kalimba here is about 512 grams, which is a lot heavier than my other kalimba. Just something to keep in mind if you do consider getting this kalimba. The next kalimba I have here is another 20 key kalimba, except it's hollow. I would say this one is not as hollow like the typical kalimba you see. It's pretty heavy. This one is bigger in size compared to my last one. It's almost twice as thick as the other one. Uh, both of this kalimba are made out of acacia wood. Let's do a sound test to it. I think the note on this one is similar to my last one. However, it has more of a echo feeling to it. With 20 key kalimba, there are also more space in between the tie, whereas the typical one is more close. So if you have a big hand, this might also be a easier one for you to pluck the note. With this kalimba, you can also do the wah-wah effect easily. This 
kalimba here is about 563 grams. It's the most heaviest kalimba that I have. Now let's move on to my last kalimba. Um, the last kalimba I have here is a uh, Mugen 30 Keys kalimba. I got this from Japan. Uh, this kalimba made of agaris wood. So this is the brand Mugen. The note range from E3 to A5. Let's do a sound test to it. I really like the tines on this one. If you put it under the light, you can see it has a hint of blue to it, which I really like. Uh, this kalimba comes with the regular notes and notes with sharp. So if you would like to play songs that have both the regular note and sharp notes, then you might want to get this kalimba. I think the sound on this kalimba is more rich, and the wah effect is also more strong with this kalimba. This kalimba here is about 396 grams, uh, which is lighter than my 20 keys kalimba. Here's an overview of my kalimba collection. If you just want a kalimba as an accessory or decoration, you can get the little A key kalimba. If you are new to kalimba and want to play it, I would recommend you to look into the 17 key kalimba. If you like the loud and deeper tone to a kalimba, you can look into the hollow kalimba. Linting and Gecko are the more popular brand that people get. If you live in a really hot and dry place, I would suggest you not to get the Acacia Wood Hollow Kalimba because I saw some review where people having cracking issue with that type Kalimba due to the hot weather. If you like a more clear and even tone to your Kalimba, you can look into the Boar Kalimba. If you live in a place that has a lot of noise, you can also look into the Duo D1 kalimba as you can practice with your headphone. Another popular kalimba that people get is the Kimi kalimba. Kimi kalimba is the acrylic one which has a transparent looking to it. The sound on it is more sweet but it's definitely more quiet than the hollow kalimba and the wood type boar kalimba. Another thing to keep in mind with this kalimba is that it's also more heavy. If you would like a more bright and loud tone to your kalimba, you can also look into the 20 key kalimba. With the 20 key kalimba, you can also play melody note along with the harmony note, which gives more depth to the song that you are playing. If you have piano experience, it might be easier for you to learn this kalimba as the arrangement is more like piano. There are also more space in between the times on this kalimba, so if you have a big hand, it would be easier for you to pause the note. If you want to give yourself more challenge, you can check out this kalimba. If you are really serious about kalimba and want to get a more high-end kalimba, you can look into the Hugh Tracy kalimba from Kalimba Magic. Kalimba Magic also released some kalimba that made out of bamboo. If you like the look on that one, you can also check it out. If you would like to play songs that involve more of the regular note along with more sharp note, look into the 30 key Mugen kalimba. Another popular kalimba that people talking about is the 21 key kalimba. Linting and Hulu are the more popular brand that people get for the 21 key kalimba. With this one, you are able to play more songs on it. The note on this one ranges from F3 to E6. It has four more lower notes than a typical C major 17 key kalimba. That wraps up for this video. I hope this can give you a brief idea on what kind of kalimba that you want to get. I think the best kalimba to get is the one that you like. I would love to know what kalimba you end up getting. You can comment down below or share a picture with me on Instagram or Facebook at LC Kalimba. If you enjoyed this video, please consider like and subscribe as it would really help boost the algorithm to help more people watch this video. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.